Brooklyn, New York, in the heart of New York City, and it's one of the biggest waste producing areas in the country. So in terms of population density and in terms of construction, demolition, debris generated, there's a lot of volume here. So here at Cooper, they're doing some very, very interesting things. You see a large uh, primary shredder, and it's one of the largest shredders on the market. We are integrators. We don't want or don't claim to have all of the products in our portfolio because we want to be able to give the choices to our customers to be able to pick and choose the best technology out there integrated in our system so that the customer feels that they have the best of everything. It was also interesting because we coupled a lot of third parties uh, equipment, so we've integrated third parties equipment uh, within our own uh, realm of, of equipment. What's interesting about this place is as large a facility as it is, you have a lot of machinery doing a lot of work. So in many recycling systems with C&D, you'll see people picking large aggregate. This equipment's able to do a lot of work for the Cooper team. The goal was to get uh, high throughput uh, automation to reduce the amount of labor involved uh, and also high recycling rates. Yeah, the, their goal was to uh, try to increase the amount of recyclable commodities that was coming out of the system, and at the same time, have relatively low uh, labor force. So a lot of automation also went into the system. So here, rather than manually sorting everything you want, you're allowing machinery to do most of the work, and then people to more quality control the work to remove out of it what is left to keep in. Well, what I think that we do that is unique is that we accompany our customers from start to finish. Um, we include them in our process. Uh, we do fully rendered 3D drawings that we can share with them throughout the sales process. And then when we have uh, an agreement on they know what they want, they've seen it, they've been able to participate, uh, then we go into engineering and then we start um, integrating or interfacing with the third party. It's very engineering intensive because everything has to function as one. So integrating and then installing everything in the system where one system needs to function as a complete.